lush and mysterious lands of the Welsh borders. A region of dramatic scenic beauty. Where the rich and wild River Wye feeds ancient farmlands as it flows through the valley, shaping the borders between England and Wales. And, rising from the Wye, the historic market town of Hay sits picture-perfect on the hillside. In the 1960s, it was Richard Booth who transformed Hay on Wye into the world's first book town. Hay is also home to the Hay Festival of Literature and the Arts, a glorious celebration of world cultures and ideas. Commanding the center of the town stands Hay Castle, one of the great Norman strongholds, containing 900 years of turbulent history within its weathered walls. The magnificent Norman keep is one of the best preserved of this period. Atop the castle wall can still be seen the remains of the great gates portcullis chamber. Hay Castle was sacked and burned time and time again by both the English and the Welsh. Yet, Hay Castle survives, part Norman, Jacobean and Victorian. The iron portcullis is long gone, but the medieval wooden doors remain, believed to be one of the oldest sets in Britain. A 1930s fire destroyed the West Wing, but remarkably, part of the Jacobean Manor House is still in use today. Hay Castle continues to reinvent itself through the ages. It was here on April Fool's Day, 1977, that Richard Booth declared himself king and Hay an independent kingdom. Hay Castle Trust is committed to the restoration and conservation of this ancient monument opening up the site for community use and tourism for the first time in its history. The castle is the very heart of Hay, and Hay Castle Trust aims to give it life for another thousand years. Hay on Wye, one of the true treasures of the Welsh borderlands. Yeah.